This is BBC News, the headlines at 11 o'clock. Egypt's streets stay calm overnight. The Muslim Brotherhood is calling for a day of anger. A court in China upholds an 11-year sentence for fraud given to the brother-in-law of the jailed dissident Liu Xiaobo. The man's relatives say the ruling is politically motivated. An imposter, confidence trickster, convicted murderer, the man who wove a web of lies across America. Hello, I'm Nick Alica. Welcome to the World's Newsroom at the BBC. Two days after the authorities moved in to break up their protest camps in Cairo, Egypt's Muslim Brotherhood are calling on supporters to march in anger after Friday prayers. Their slogan is, the people want to topple the coup. The interim government now says at least 638 people died in Wednesday's violence, 43 of them police officers. A state of emergency has been declared across the country and police have been authorised to use live ammunition in self-defence. Bethany Bell has more from Cairo. A massive power cut in Venezuela affected 70% of the country, including the capital, Caracas. The president, Nicolas Maduro, blamed what he called right-wing extremists for the power cut, but his critics say poor infrastructure is to blame. Power has now been restored to the capital and much of the country. Some other top stories today, and a powerful earthquake has hit New Zealand's South Island. The 6.8 magnitude quake hit near the capital Wellington. Air and rail services have been suspended and there have been some power outages in the capital. No tsunami warning has been issued. Ukrainian politicians have accused Russia of starting a trade war to try to stop Ukraine signing a cooperation pact with the European Union. Hundreds of cargo carriages and trucks are stuck at the border after restrictions were introduced by Russian customs. Moscow has been critical of Kiev's plans to integrate with the European Union. Now, he masqueraded as a British aristocrat, a Hollywood movie producer and an heir to the Rockefeller fortune. But now, German-born Christian Garzingerluck has run out. The 52-year-old has been sent to prison for murder. Peter Bowes has the details from Los Angeles. That's all from the World's Newsroom for now. Join us again at 10 o'clock for the latest from the BBC. Until then, goodbye.